have F-150 will travel. Here I go, traveling in my Ford F-150. I am going over to Fred Meyer Incorporated, I suppose, to uh, anticipate purchasing some groceries and whatever tickles my fancy. It's not that I'm a wealthy man in particular, but when you consider my financial status compared to the average person on this planet, I'm doing quite well. I have a blessed existence here in spite of all the stuff I can think up to complain about. Now I'm here, I just got to get this truck parked. A little bit of a chore. Oh, with it being about 400 feet long and all, I have succeeded in shutting her down. Well, I haven't shut her down yet because I got the camera in my truck shutting down here. But I have succeeded in coming to a halt here, I should say. Okay, let's go in here and do some shopping. What do you say? Fred Meyer. See? Right there. Fred Meyer. I don't know who in the world Fred Meyer is, but he's got these stores all over town. I, I'm going to go buy some stuff. Bye. <laughs> I got away with murder at Fred Meyer. Look at all that stuff I got back there. Can you see it? Can you see it? Okay, here's the deal. Calcium, magnesium, and zinc tablets, vitamins. Buy one, get one free. Ha! Plus a dollar off coupon for each bottle. I'm not sure how that worked out mathematically. I let the checkout guide deal with all that. But boy, I made a killing. I'm just sure of it. And then, Baby Ruth candy bars. Buy two, get one free. But if I know Fred Meyer, they jacked up the price on them too, so they'd come out okay on it, even though I, they had to give me one free. I got a nasty feeling I should be doing more math when I shop down there. Look at that, there's a swimming pool or something out there. That'll happen right here in the rain. Rain, rain. You know, this rain is actually quite refreshing. It's 73 degrees. It's 7.30 at night almost. And it's kind of nice. It's been sunny and hot for quite a while, for a couple months now, and it's just kind of fun to have it rain again. Now, I guarantee you, a month or two from now, when it's raining ever cotton picking day, I'm going to have a whole different attitude about it. But that's the way it goes. It's a cute little house, don't you stink? Yes, you do, don't you? I can't tell from here. I'm asking you. It's YouTube, not stink tube. I can't tell what you smell like. I got enough responsibility just dealing with the way I smell. Even at my age, I still have to take a shower every day. It's cotton picking. They charge me for water at my house. They send me a bill every month. Here you go. Pay for your water now. Not only that, but after I drink the water that I had to pay for, they charge me for going to the bathroom, too. They charge me a sewer charge. Sheesh. And you can't go to the bathroom without having something to read. So you got to turn on the light. And they send you an electric bill. You knew they would. Yeah. You usually have to take your pants down. You'd be freezing to death if you didn't turn the heat on. So naturally they send you a big old gas bill too. You just can't win. I'm telling you, it's a no-win situation, owner to home. There's a train. It's leaving now. We're in, uh, where are we? North Portland, I guess. I guess that's what you call it, North Portland. 
waiting for some pedestrians to get done pedestriating across the street so we can drive park behind a BMW at a stoplight left turn signal it's pretty exciting a lot of people think that my life is plain and every day but they're not here so don't pay them no mind this is a thrill if you were here you would know that now look at that we got a green light now we're going to turn left we don't get killed trying hang on hang on here we go this is what it looks like to drive around in Portland it's pretty exciting and uplifting stimulating it's a catalyst for happy living. That guy there looked like a catalyst for happy living, didn't he? Thank you for tuning in to YouTube today to watch me pick my nose. I can't say that I particularly appreciate it, but I just thank people out of habit, I think. Thank you. You'd never guess whether I picked my nose out of habit or not, would you? Probably wouldn't even occur to you, huh? Yeah, huh? Yeah, huh? You can park under the bridge down here if you have a mind to, or you can go over there to the park, jump in the water head first and get all wet. Whatever you want to do. You can skateboard. You can bicycle away and never come back. You can run through the sprinklers out there if you want to. I wouldn't recommend it though. There's a lot of geese in that park from time to time. And you slip on that wet grass, you're liable to land in something green and slimy. Alright, here we go. We, we, I tell you, we. There's the Morrison Street building, or whatever they call it there, on the corner of Morrison and Street. No, it's probably Second and Morrison or something. I don't care. Got a red light here. We wouldn't even be talking about it. See, 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 see. see. There's a train. And going to the Beaverton Transit Center. Look at that. Not right at the moment they're not. They're just sitting there occupying space, but I can tell by the sign on their bus that they're a train that that's what they have in mind. So that's pretty cool. Alright. We're getting to the point where we're just about having ourselves a time here now. We'll all pass away. There's just something about that name. I am almost as good at singing as I am at vlogging and, you know, doing things like holding the camera straight and stuff not belching when you're on the air in YouTube and stuff like that. Almost. Look at these people go. I'm doing two miles an hour over the posted legal speed limit there. And they're just flying by me like I was in the road. Which of course I'm sure they think I am. This guy here, he don't even care if he just cuts people off. And me, I don't seem to mind that criticizing and complaining about everything I can think of either. And I'm sorry about that. I've got some nasty habits. If I list them all out, I wouldn't 
and, and mailed it to everybody I know, I'd, I would never get another phone call. So I don't do that, you know. 